Okay, let's start with the commentary. Episode 12, or part 12. Whatever. Mm. And Tetra is hanging around with a lion. Uh, man. Lion is just like, baby. It's, okay. <clears throat> I was trying to make it obvious that Lion had something for her. But he was unaware of it himself. He thought he was joking when he was flirting with her. And Tetra was more so shy and had no clue what he was doing. He thought he was really deliberately being mean to her when he was simply just flirting with her. Which he thought it was a joke, but he didn't know that um he was thought she was cute, but <laughs> but <laughs> never mind. And she was all freaking out because she didn't know whose blood it was and and she didn't know whose blood it was, but she was worried. Long got worried that her was freaking out and thought that he said something that insulted her. And then she's like, "No, no, no, it's okay. I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine with you having someone's blood. It's probably no one I know. As long as that, it's okay. It's okay as long as it's no one I know." Lion's like, "What do girls do? I only, I mean, the only girls I know are the girls in my family that are, but they're not human. So what do I do?" I'm like, well, Lucas would ask me this. Well, Lucas would ask me to go over to his house and play. So why not? And then Tetra's like, sure, why not? Scene transition! I didn't start putting the word pointless before the scene transition. <coughs> and I don't know why I gave him a nasally voice. I thought it would be funny. And Zelda's just looking back. He's got a nasally voice. I thought it would be funny because, like, Zelda's back, he inspired nasally voices for me. And she's like, he's like, what did I do? She's like, why am I even being kept here? And he's like, what did you do? And the Steve's like, I, um, I don't have an answer. Sorry, no answer. I don't have an answer for that. And they're just like, nice job, Steve. And the guards are all stupid. And they're a reason why um, Link is how he is. A sub-reason, because he doesn't, he has to watch them. Instead of them like guarding his life, he has to pretty much guard theirs. He's like, I tried to sell it. It's like, it's, it's Helvin Hylian, and they're two different things. And he's like, um, yeah, I'm gonna. He's like, um, sure. And he's like, hmm. Is this. So this actually states that Link has might have had a um, similar obsession to finding Zelda. But it's quickly rethought by him. But it's quickly rethought by him because of how many questions Zelda asks him, and he's like, "Ah, shut up! I'm done. I don't want her anymore." And it's like, okay. It's like, how long is this? Like, and she's like, "Can I leave now?" And she and Zelda's freaking out because she doesn't want her left alone with the werepire, werewolf vampire, whatever. Looks like I don't approve of this. He's like, and she's like, "Mm-hmm," and like. Link pretty much strikes fear to anyone he possibly can. And Patricia, it's debatable over who's the more intelligent of the two between Patricia and Lion. It's debatable. Patricia seems to understand more about the world, but Lion does seem to understand a lot, almost as much. And this was supposed to be interpreted wrong, but it's really nothing going to happen, nothing's really going to happen. <coughs> really nothing's going to happen, but like it was supposed to be interpreted as a bad way. It was supposed to be interpreted like that, and I'm like, oh, I not misinterpreted, so it would be funny. I thought it would be funny and weird, but... And like, that table's just like, no other reason to be there. And it's like, yep, alcoholic beverage, slurp. And like so just like uh, I should already know the answer to this, but I need to know. Like what is that? She's like, What is that? And Link's like, Oh, she's really curious. I've always liked that. And this was what I wanted to misinterpret. He was literally trying to get her drunk. He wasn't going to do anything, he just wanted to see if she would get drunk off of blood, but and so I was like, uh, I don't like where this is going at all. And Link uses vampire speed to get in front of her while Zelda's trying to walk towards the door, I guess. 
And then dramatic music plays. Hardy har har. <coughs> and that's it. And um, check out Starship Troopers. So bye.